each and every one of us with another beautiful day. With his amazing grace and his beautiful shining face. Isn't, isn't it so sweet to see that the Father is so very unique? How can one keep trying to put the Father and his love in a tiny little frame? Can they not see that the Father is bigger than each and every one of us? How can one say that the Father, how can one say what the Father will and won't do? Father, will the people stop trying to make things blue and untrue? Everyone know right from wrong. Can we all just try and get along? How can we as a people stand when we are not trying to get down with God's holy plan? So I say, Just remember that the Father is true, and he's not trying to make no one blue. Amen. Amen. Beautiful. Amen. Thank God for that point. And good to see our other sister out. Would you like to have a few words from the Lord? Amen. Sure. Another sister. Uh -huh. <laughs> Amen. Well, good, good to have you out today. And feel free to come back anytime. You're welcome. Amen. And good, always good to see Sister Brenda out anytime. Amen. <laughs> Brother, you know what to call me now. <laughs> I'm, Brenda. I'm still Sister Bercy. Sister Bercy? Okay, you still Sister Bercy. All right. <laughs> Would you like to have a few words before we close out? Well, I just, once again, I just thank God for just, you know, being here. Uh, you know, I, I've been blessed. I yeah. thank God. I, you know, I did some I, some traveling, yeah. and I still do a little traveling parts of Texas with the company that I work with. And I just got me a job at Foley's. All I had right. to let go of the job at you know the driving job because yeah, I was rough. I was losing my religion. I was, <laughs> Come on, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I was, I was really getting crazy, you know, I started packing a knife and everything else. Cause, so, you know, those people are crazy. They, you know, they see you as a woman driving and they think you, you're some kind of sex object, you know, and, and I'm, I'm real, you know, I'm real picky about a whole lot of things and, you know, I don't just pick up anything and bring them home, you know, and they, and when they see you driving, they don't have no respect for you. So, you know, I've, God's blessed me to drive limos, you know, 18 wheelers, you know, and I love driving. Right. So and uh, you know now I'm I'm seeking to get me a motorcycle. You know yeah. I'm just at that point in my life. Where I, <laughs> I'm, at, I'm at that point in my life where I want to be outgoing and yeah. traveling and moving around and like brother.